So with that, we bring in Patrick DeHaan. He is the head of petroleum analysis for GasBuddy.com. Patrick, great to have you with us today. Uh, are these numbers peaking or are they going higher from here? Well, thanks for having me. And I think that's the million dollar question. But for now, it looks like we could go higher yet. Americans not really responding in kind to the high prices. Demand for gasoline, according to Gas Buddy data last week, rose 3% in light of the stats you showed that we've continuously set new record levels almost every day in the national average now at 458 a gallon today. And I don't see any break anytime soon as the imbalance between supply and demand continues. In fact, it could get worse for gasoline as the government today reported gasoline inventories fell by 4 million barrels in the last week alone. So, you know, just to put this up from J.P. Morgan, they're agreeing with what you're saying. U.S. retail prices could surge another 37 percent by August to $6.20 a national. Uh, this is going to change a lot of people's summer plans in terms of, you know, road trips across the country and that kind of thing. Um, what's the single most significant thing that the government has within their power to tap into or to do to start to turn this thing around? Is there anything? The government has no significant tool. It has small tools, things like gas taxes and the type of gasoline that are used in summer months. But beyond that, uh, any government, whether it's U.S., you know, Japan, Germany, they're powerless to overcome global supply and demand. And a lot of this really has to do with the fact that Russia's 10 million barrels a day of production have been sanctioned, curtailed by Western countries due to their war in Ukraine. Without that oil hitting the market, we're going to continue to see this imbalance high demand and low supply play out through the summer months. So what about the supply issue that you mentioned? Um, are there things that could be done to signal that there is more future supply that might come online that might impact these prices as, uh, you know, people betting on these prices sort of take that into consideration as well for future prices? You know, I, I think a lot of that, sure, there, there are some optical kind of illusions, but everyone knows that promises made today aren't going to improve things potentially for years down the road, whether it's allowing more drilling or bringing pipelines online. There's a lot of imbalances that aren't going to be fixed even in the next year or so. So, you know, there is some uh, uh, soothing uh, that the president could do in markets. Obviously, the president's gone after oil and gas, uh, and that has certainly an impact on, on the way those companies operate, but nothing in the near short term that can be really fixed. All right. Patrick DeHaan uh, with an outlook for a cruel summer, uh, as some folks are calling it already. Thank you, Patrick. Good to have you here today. Thanks. Thanks for waiting. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.